Welcome to Texas, where it is hot. It's over 100 degrees today, and with the heat index factor, I don't know what it is, but it is boiling. Well, today we're going to talk about how you can survive in this heat, whether you're living in your van, whether you're traveling in your van, or camping in your van. It's tough to deal with this heat. Well, if you remember in some of the other videos we did, I have an awning system that creates shade for your van. It gives you sun protection and rain protection. In another video, I show you how you can make your own bug screen so you can sleep in your van with the windows down and get lots of air. And those pesky little bugs won't eat you alive. And in another video, I talk about how important it is to insulate the interior of your van. It makes it so much more comfortable whether it's in the cold weather or the hot weather. And in that video, I talk about your windows. Your windows are your worst insulated thing inside the van. I mean, that's where the sun comes through and makes your van just bake in the summertime. Okay, well today we're gonna address that. Today we're gonna talk about window tinting your van. Now, I know, I know, you know all about window tinting. Everybody's seen it before. But before you click off, let me ask you this. When's the last time you window tinted your van? How old is that tint on your van? Do you know that product has changed drastically over the last few years? Think back, about 10 years ago, we tinted the back windows with limo tint. Legally, we couldn't put it up here, but we put it on the back. And why'd we do that? Because it looked cool for one, it gave us privacy so nobody could see in, and we thought it was actually doing something blocking the sun. But you know, it's like wearing a cheap pair of sunglasses outside. It's, it's not blocking any of the UV rays or anything else. And uh, it's, it, it just darkens everything. Well, now they've come out with a new product and it's called Window Film. And you put it over your windows and it actually blocks the UV rays. It blocks the infrared rays and it cuts down the heat. Think about this. Think about going outside in a black t-shirt right? It's black, so it draws all the heat and just makes it hotter. Well, these new window films, they block 99% of the UV rays. It's like this. It's like going out in the sun on a beautiful sunny day like this with no hat and no sunscreen on. You'd fry in the first hour. You'd literally bake, okay? So what do you do? You protect your face with the hat and you put on sunscreen. Maybe you put on an SPF of 15 or 35. Maybe even you put a 45 SPF on because you're fair skinned. Well today we're gonna put an SPF of a thousand on my van. A thousand! It's gonna block out 99 percent of the UV rays. That is incredible. It blocks the heat. It keeps the van so much cooler and Today, we're going to meet an expert. He's been doing this stuff for 25 plus years. This new window film that's out, not only can you put it on the side windows, they make one for the windshield too. The biggest window on your vehicle where all that sun comes and you're driving looking right at it. It protects your skin, your eyes, and it makes it so much more comfortable and cooler. So today, we're going to meet this expert. I suggest you climb in and buckle up and get ready to get cooled off. Hey, this is Mike with Backroads Vanner, and today we're going to talk about window tinting your van. Now, I know you probably already have window tint on your van, but are all window tints created equal? Today you're going to find out they are not. And this window tint's been on my van for about 10 years, 8 years, something like that. And uh, today we're at D&D Window Tint. And this is Bob. He's the guy that put this window tint on years ago. But as you will find out today in this video, that the new window tints that are out are heat, heat. Far superior in blocking heat. If you remember putting this window tint on uh, years ago, can you tell us what the quality of this window tint is? Uh, it's a premium lifetime warrantied film made by Soligard. Uh, it's high performance smoke. Uh, high performance means that there's actually metal on top of the polyester. Uh, this film buries the metal so you don't see the shine from it, but you still get the benefits of the heat rejection by having the metal there. Uh, really good quality film, typically lasts 10 years, give or take, which is really awesome for any window tent on a uh, car. Um, and as you can see, this window tint is still in 
almost perfect condition if you look at it on the inside. There's no bubbles, no peeling, no nothing like that. Almost as good as the day it was done. And that has been uh, through a lot of Texas heat and uh, traveling and trips. So um, we're going to show you what the new products are and how they can benefit you and help protect uh, protect your vehicle from the heat. How long you been in business, Bob? Uh, d and has been here since 1981. Uh, I've owned it for 19 years now. 19 years of doing window tint. And what else do you do here? Uh, paint protection film. It's clear film, uh, protects the paint on vehicles. Uh, uh, I also specialize in alarms and remote starts. And uh, you did my alarm on my van as well, yeah. and my remote start, and my door actuators, and, uh, and helped me do some other things. We'll get into that in a later video. But today we're going to talk about window tinting. And this just blew my mind when Bob showed me what the latest products are out there. Now, Bob, tell us what this box is right here. He calls this your... We call it a wow box uh, because you kind of get that wow factor when you see it. It's, it's basically a heat lamp and a BTU meter. Uh, BTU's uh, British thermal unit, it's like a, a quantitative measurement of heat as opposed to a temperature. Uh, so when you say this heat lamp puts out 900 BTU's, that's a, a quantitative unit, uh, a, an amount of heat. Uh, so then so, I take, so you So that is considered, this heat lamp is like the sun. So yeah, we're using that as Texas as sun. this Texas sun beating and down. Put your hand there, it and, feels and like it's hot. Texas and sun. and do you know what the temperature is right here when you turn something like that on? Or from the sun? No. Okay. <laughs> well, what we're going to check, but, but what we're going to show is uh, what wowed me since it's a wow box is the fact that it rejects the heat. It not only you know having window tinting on your vehicle gives you privacy, but is it actually cutting down on the heat? Is it actually reflecting the UV rays? And uh, what are all the other rays? Yeah. There's about a hundred rays, There's right? There's all kinds of different rays. Uh, yeah, that, the, all window tint, just by the nature of the polyester it's made from, will block UV. You can get the cheapest tint out there, it will still block UV. UV is only one thing. Uh, when you think of the sun as being a spectrum, uh, it, it's shooting everything at us from infrared all the way up to gamma rays and all kinds of rays that you need special equipment to measure. And one of the specifications uh, on window tint is total solar energy rejection. That's an older measurement. Uh, it's been around since the dawn of window tint. Uh, and it takes into account everything the sun's throwing at us and then how much we're rejecting. So by nature- Well, uh, hang on just a second. That, <laughs> let's just talk in real layman's terms for somebody like me. What does that mean to me? It means it keeps my van cooler. It means my air conditioner doesn't have to run as long if I can block the heat. Yes, the privacy is very important. If you're a van dweller, if you're living in your van or traveling in your van, you want that privacy. But you also want comfort. And uh, if your air conditioner is running on full steam and it still can't cool your van down, uh, a lot of that may be your window tint and in my video on interior of your van I talked about insulating your van but I also mentioned the worst insulating thing in your van is your windows you don't insulate your windows uh, yes you can cover them yes I cover my back windows and uh, we'll talk about that here in a little bit but if you don't have a good window tint that's rejecting that heat uh, it's all for naught because you can have the best insulation the rest of your van, but all your heat is coming in through the windows. Am I right. correct with Absolutely. that? Absolutely. And, you know, it's the difference between whether you're running the air conditioner or not sometimes. Sure. And that could uh, mean a difference between fuel mileage and gas mileage running yep. your air conditioner. Today, what brought me in here today was Bob told me about this product that they're putting on windshields. Now, you may have your windows tinted on your vehicle, but very few people have their windshield tinted and let me tell you Bob has said that it does not obstruct your view it cuts down on the heat you put your hand on your dashboard and it's going to cool it down so now let's proceed with your wow box and okay. let's let the let's us quit doing the talking and let's let your uh, what is this your uh, BTU meter. your BTU meter do the talking what do you want to start with let's start with something really basic it's a it's a five percent a uh, limo film, which means only 5% of the light penetrates it. Uh, this is an El Cheapo. I don't carry this film. It's, in my opinion, it makes your windows black. It doesn't hold up very well. It doesn't block any heat at all. 
and there's and there's probably a lot of vehicles out there that have this tint oh, on absolutely uh, you go in and get the basic tint at most shops they're going to carry something in this quality range okay um this this uh uh, heat lamp puts out about 900 BTU. Okay, so it's at 917 right now. And we drop that in. It drops it to 750. So what's uh -huh. that? Blocking 150 BTUs out of 900. Come in here and that's look at this. That's next to nothing. It, that's really pretty poor performance. 900. And you can even feel the heat coming through that dark, dark film. Okay. Now, let's go to what Mike has on his van right now, which is high-performance smoke. And this is on the front this, windows. Yeah, this is the light shade. It's 35% film. Uh, this is what's legal in Texas. Uh, your state may be different, but this, this cuts it down to 500, so that's blocking 400 out of the 900 BTUs. And that's a pretty good performing film five years ago. Okay. Uh, in the darker shade, you'll see it does, doesn't block quite as much heat because you get into the darker films, there's actually absorption happening where because the, the glass is black, it's absorbing heat and that's transferring through. And this is the tint that I have on the back on the windows back. Um, that are so dark on my van and the side windows right. and everything else. Now this is a quality tint, but still it's only dropping it down to 520 or 525. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Show us what else you got. Now, in the Expel film, let's start with the dark one. It's the same darkness as what's on there now, but Expel's done something really Ooh, radical. Wait a minute. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's it dropped it, a wow box. <laughs> it dropped it from 900 to 189, 190. Yeah, so I'll lift it back out, of, out and show the out difference. Out of 900 BTUs, this is blocking 700 of them. That's huge. Yes. You only have 200 BTUs coming through those windows instead of 900. Mm -hmm. Or 750 with the El Cheapo. Right. Or 500 with a five-year-old good film. Mm -hmm. uh, that's huge. Yeah. Oh, that is huge. <laughs> and this is the dark shade. And same thing. You get into absorption because it is so dark. This is a great film. Blocks a ton of heat. But the lighter films actually block more. Because and and they why don't is that? Okay, because they don't absorb. Because black, like a black shirt in the exactly. summer, it draws heat, so it absorbs Absolutely. it. Show us the lighter one then. This this is what now, would go on the uh, side windows. This a legal is what's tent. legal on the front doors in Texas, and that's down to 162. Right. That's and, huge. And that and, and tell me, you can put your hand here. It's not the, letting the heat. Through. Feel the difference of the heat. Tell me why this tent. What is in this tent that? that blocks that heat. I mean, it's not reflective. It's not like a you're looking at a mirror like no. some of those mirror tints are. Absolutely. There's got to be something in that tint that is is blocking um, the heat. They they use a you know, it's proprietary. They don't really tell us much of how they do it. They it's they secret. they they <laughs> they give us some buzzwords like uh, nano ceramic. They're using some type of ceramic. Uh yeah, ceramics in the clay realm. Uh and nano meaning they pulverize it to the point where it's so fine they can apply it to a polyester and it doesn't look speckly or uh -huh. and that's the other thing about this expel is the the, the visual quality of it's really good mm -hmm. that's why i've always carried solar guard the visual quality looking through it even looking at an angle you don't see graininess right some of the other manufacturers do mm -hmm. That's well, that, that well, talking about graininess and looking through it, you told me uh, today we're going to put a tint on my windshield. Yes. And now, obviously, you don't want a, a tinted windshield, uh, maybe just ever so slightly, but um, tell us about this yeah. one, That, that uh, how much it blocks. Uh, this is Expel's Prime XR 70%, uh, uh, meaning it allows 70% of the light to, to go through it. And I'm telling you, Mike, out of every window tent I've ever seen in my entire 25 plus year career in window tent, this blows all of them away. Wow. That's the That's wow factor. Yeah. <laughs> Show us what it does so, on the wow box. Back to 900 BTUs. 946, 950. Okay, drop it in there. And wow, 116. 116. And this 
is on your windshield that's on the windshield. which is on a van uh that is your biggest window Absolutely. on the whole van and it's angled up so that's where you're getting all the uh, right it's all the, the sunlight coming it's in it's the biggest mm -hmm. and it's the one right in front of you when mm -hmm. you're driving right uh, and that's in, in a vehicle when difference. you're when you're uh, traveling or camping or living in your van mm -hmm. and you're parked uh, you know shade is everything and if you've got this on your windshield and the Sun is beating down on your vehicle uh, it's only letting in a hundred and eighteen uh, what do you call those again BTUs. BTUs. <laughs> British thermal units <laughs> feel free to Google it. What, what a difference. <laughs> yeah check it out will you I don't need to because I'm just going by the numbers on here and you can tell that it's hardly letting any heat oh yeah you can feel That's the difference for sure for sure and today outside it's over 100 degrees heat index I don't know 100 and something out there and this is gonna uh, protect it so um, okay well great thank you for sharing that with sure. us I'm wowed I hope you are too so today uh, it's not just a simple job of uh, re, uh, putting new tint on this we got to take the old tint off so I'm gonna let Bob explain the easiest way to uh, to take this old tint uh, which is still in perfect condition on there uh, how he takes that off let me come I, over here hang on I like using a steamer uh, it uh, applies a good wet moist heat to it uh, the heat helps to soften the uh, moisture helps the glue stay to the film side uh, and not where all the glue stays on the glass come you're, over here. you're gonna you will have a little bit of glue that stays on the glass that's fairly normal uh -huh. but the less on the glass the less work there is yeah you don't have to scrape it with the razor blade and you know this is a commercial steamer so it probably puts out a little more than, quite a bit of heat than, than uh, if you had a home steamer I know those are getting really popular now it's just coming right off yeah and uh, you know different brands come off different I was gonna say does a cheap tint come off that easy not always <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's you know every brand has their own adhesive uh, another thing I like about solar guard and also it helps we deal with solar guard on a regular basis uh -huh. uh, you know I've owned the store for 19 years uh, we actually do get warranties back uh, uh -huh. solar guard pays us to redo it so to the customer it's no charge uh -huh. uh, but we do like the way solar guard wow that's great you can see a little bit of glue there a little here a little here uh -huh. a little touch left up there but that's really minimal it'll take me just a few minutes to finish cleaning that off and then we're ready to apply a new tint great if you do want to remove the tint yourself let me show you how to do it right uh, we get people coming in trying to save a buck but they do such a horrible job I end up charging them anyway uh, you know getting the glue off the center is really easy getting it around the edges this this window is really easy uh, I'll probably show you on one of the front ones also uh, but what you don't want to do is just jam the glue into the corners uh, so you keep it wet with soap and water solution uh, I like baby shampoo personally uh, I do too. All else being equal, <laughs> it's a very mild uh, detergent. Uh, so just start in one direction. You don't want to drag the blade backwards. It tends to dull the blade. And all that is glue coming off, right? Yeah, this is glue. That's glue. And just put it in a paper towel to get rid of later. And also, when you start getting to this black edge, uh, it tends to dull the blade, so that's why we do that last. And if you go straight into that edge, you'll have better luck than going down it like that. But towards the end, you will go down it like that. So uh, typically, let's say a, a van like this, if somebody removed all their tint, what would that save them in the price? How much? Um, how much does that? I charge eighty bucks to remove this. Okay. Tent. So you save eighty dollars if you uh, take the time out to remove it yourself. And we don't mind because I was going to say really I, I, I would I, I would rather pay the eighty dollars <laughs> and just let a professional do it. <laughs> but if you are on a budget, uh, that's an easy eighty bucks to save. Sure, it's sure. Just simple labor. 
and most vans are going to be like this where it's fairly the glass easy. is flat and mm -hmm, um, easy to get to now make sure you're using stainless steel blades do not use carbon steel they will scratch the glass and if you keep the glass wet stainless steel blades it's basically impossible to scratch the glass hear that stainless steel not carbon 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 steel not carbon steel stainless steel blades uh, most of the blades you find will be stainless steel okay one last squirt and I'm just gonna take this and wipe up all that Now, if you were to bring this van in here with this window in this condition, I wouldn't charge you to remove the two. <laughs> <laughs> Bob approved. <laughs> Bob, this is my proprietary mix. It's uh, some ammonia, Dawn, uh, alcohol, and it just kind of breaks down that last little touch of residue around the edges. And this is actually a floor buffer pad you know have you ever seen those big red pads that go on the floor machine sure, sure. I buy those by the box and cut them up into pieces uh, they're mild enough they won't scratch the glass but they're strong enough to, to break down those last little tiny fragments uh, that may get contamination between the tint and the glass uh, so you spray your juice on and then you just scrub it with just that scrub it with this uh, and it uh, softens the adhesive that's left behind uh -huh. and breaks it down and then when I go over it with a squeegee for the last time and we dry the top edge and then use a squeegee and at that point that window is ready to put new tin on very important uh, you can use a home scour pad, but do not use the green. The, uh, the scotch Bright uh, green pan scrubbers, mm -hmm. way too harsh. They will scratch glass. Uh, use something more like a sponge. Uh, you know, this is a fairly soft, uh, doesn't hurt at all. Those scotch brights are very much more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're doing here, Bob. Well, have you ever looked at window tin or tried doing window tin even better and say, how do those guys get all the wrinkles out of there? Well, the problem is, is that the glass is curved and the window tint comes on a roll, so it's basically 100% flat. So we use a, a really strong industrial heat gun and actually shrink the film to fit the curve of the glass. We start over with this one and uh, you want to split it up and kind of even it out and uh, you just you're controlling the heat and making the film shrink wow and yeah it's not as easy as I'm making it look of course <laughs> yeah, well I was gonna say on a back window of a car or something like that where it's really curved you right. really have to shrink it a lot tougher exactly and uh, the funny thing is, there actually is a grain to the window tent. And uh, you notice how I'm not working on this on side. That side yeah. It doesn't work the same. You see how it just kind of acts funny. And uh, just doing that to show it off. <laughs> uh, that'll actually get cut out when I go to cut it to fit the uh, size of the window. So right now we're making it fit the shape, and then we'll we'll take a knife and cut around it and make it fit the size of the window. So you always put the window tint on the outside of the window first to form to it and form. fit and, and right. uh, cut it to size or anything else that you have to. And then when it's uh, formed, then you put it on the inside, correct? Absolutely. What I'm doing now is, is cutting the film to the size of the window. And uh, you can see this, this window on this particular vehicle is glued in. In this band is where they glue it. So that band's hidden. And all we need to do is go just past that black. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna cut that out.
are the ones that Amy cut for the sides. And that glass is much flatter. You can see how that, that piece of tent just stays up there. But uh, the, the ones on the very back are so curved. And you can see how, after I shrunk it, how it's actually concave. Uh, yeah. There's a couple of different tricks to get it to peel. Some people kind of pick at it with their fingernail and get this clear liner to separate like that. Uh, I, the way I always learned was to chew on it. And you just take your teeth and kind of do this to it. How's it taste? <laughs> Basically not at all. <laughs> no wonder I had bite marks on my old tent. <laughs> Feed this guy. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> yeah, DNA and all the window tinting. And keep it wet. Try spray a lot of water because uh, this stuff's like a magnet for dust when you peel it. And uh, uh, if you keep it wet, then you're like neutralizing the electrical effect of it, getting rid of the static electricity, so the dust dust doesn't stick to fly it. At it. And the soap and water also allows it to slide around so we can position it. You know, I can, you can see how it moves easily. Sure. I just want to kind of center it up. So we just do left and right, up and down, and work to the corners. And on a square window like this, that's really about all there is to it biggest problem is uh, you're not going to find a quality product uh, it's actually against my agreement with the manufacturers to sell you the film over the counter uh -huh. uh, they don't want poor installation of a quality film so you have to go through a reputable dealer like myself. right so you can't just go buy it and try yeah, to do this yourself the, uh, now does not, this not talking bad about AutoZone but their window tint I can't even tint with that stuff yeah <laughs> Let's look at the back side of this one. There it is. That's good and dark. Gives you the privacy and the heat rejection. And it looks pretty much just it looks, like it, it did looks, before. It does. It looks like the other one. Um, no, probably not any darker than the other one no. was. Limo tint. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to... Attract the heat so and block. Yeah, it's going to block that much more heat. Looks good, Bob. Good job. Right. Thank you. Okay, Bob, tell me what we're doing right here. Okay, we're going to put a little visor strip at the top. Uh, uh, it just cuts down on the light coming at the very top edge of the glass. Uh, there is a law to it. Uh, basically, if you can see this tiny little mark right there, you can go as dark as you want above that, but you can't. Uh, go darker than the super duper light film that we already put on there below that. So we've got the film on here and you really can't even tell that it's on. Exactly. And now we're just going to add a dark strip across the top and you called that a visor. Visor strip. A yes. visor strip. And this is the, the good film that blocks out yeah, this is 90% uh, or whatever it was. <laughs> a lot. So Almost everything. So Bob, uh, you're I asking what else we do? Asking what else you do? So you know, one of the big things that we do here is uh, paint protection film. It's a clear eight mil polyurethane film. Uh, 
that we put over the paint to protect it from bug guts, uh, rock chips, uh, the things that happen to cars on the road. So you put uh, it right on the front of the, yeah, the front of the vehicle, are, the hood? We're doing the entire front end of the car. Uh, this fender we did earlier, this hood we did earlier. Uh, you can see some Gosh, little, you can't even tell it's on there. Yeah, you can see little things that still need some work. This car is by no means ready to leave here. Uh, we, we wrap all of these edges around. Uh, but yeah, we're just getting started on this car. It's about a day and a half job. And so basically it just protects the paint and, yeah. and uh, uh, it's just a clear coating over the paint. So anything that hits it, it protects it and uh, keeps the paint Good. Now, how often, how often would you have to change this, or how long does something like um, this last for? It has a 10-year warranty. Okay. So, you know, by the time the film's going bad, uh, your paint's going bad. <laughs> I, know, I know on the front of my van, um, because it's so flat on the front, uh, I get a lot of rock chips and things Absolutely. like that on the front. So uh, this would be something good for if somebody sure. had a brand new van or had a brand new paint job on their van or something like that new. and wanted to uh, protect it. I could see how people would yeah. would want something like this. Bob has shown us the, the film that he puts on the front of these cars, the paint protection, and I asked him about the durability of it. So now Bob is going to uh, give us a demonstration yeah, of that. This, this, this is showing what it looks like on both black and white. Uh, this film also comes in a matte finish, uh, so you can, nice. we can wrap an entire vehicle and whatever color it is shines through as a matte finish, though. Wow. So you can um, take any car that's real shiny and put this, sure. put this over blue, it and it looks like red, a matte. Whatever, oh, that's interesting. Whatever color right. it is. Um, but here's the really amazing thing about this film. This is a brass brush. You would never do that to your paint. I can see scratches I mean, all over it. That's not coming out. That will not go away. If you were to do that to your paint, it would be there forever. But in the heat of the day, watch this stuff go away. Yeah, it's disappearing. And that makes it it's more gone. durable than your paint. Wow. So just being out in the sun, that would make it that would disappear. Yeah. Just disappear like that. And, that's, and that's you were using a pretty, let me see the brush you were using on that. That's sure. a pretty, uh, that's a pretty, oh yeah, that's an aggressive. <laughs> it's for parts That's cleaning. an aggressive brush right there. You would never yeah. do that to the paint of your no, car, that's, but that's if really it did get brush. scratched or something like that. And that's why and we, that looks brand new. We do it a lot more on the sports car, uh, you know, and especially the high-end uh, uh, European vehicles. We're wrapping up here, finishing up the tent job on the van, and Bob, it looks fantastic, looks great. Glad you're um, happy, Mike. And uh, I'm just gonna tell everybody out there, if you're passing through the Dallas-Fort Worth area, if you're driving through or if you live around here, it's well worth the trip to come over and see Bob at D&D &D Auto Tent. Is that the name of it? D&D? D&D Auto Tent, D&D &D 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 Window Tent. And, and he also does Google alarms, run, alarms and stereos. Remote and, stars. And Bob did that to my van and we'll save that for another video. But uh, believe me, if you're passing through Dallas, and uh, you want to retint your windows and you want a quality window tint job come and see bob at dnd this is not a commercial this is from the bottom of my heart this is i mean it's worth it it's worth it to come through here for quality work so i thank you bob anything else you want to say you want to tell them your website or how sure, to find sure. you okay. uh, you feel free to google us up uh, www.ddtent.com uh, phone number 817-469-TENT-8468 just call us let us know when you're passing through we'll set you an appointment uh, and, uh, and mention like we did on Mike's was two and a half three hours and mention Backroads Vanner if you're coming through we'll give you a discount and he's gonna give you a discount take care of you so I thank you for that too and for all you Vanners out there make it worth your while come on by D&D's tent and stereo and uh, what else uh, alarms and starters <laughs> and you name it they'll even wipe your dashboard off for you thank you Bob Appreciate Thank you. you. Mike. <laughs> Thanks take for care. watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road. This is Backroads Vanner saying, take care.